en el emigrante el rostro de tu hijo y la promesa de América. Te lo pedimos por Jesucristo, nuestro Señor. Amén. Franciscan, I place my hope that eventually uh, God will bring forth from this um, a positive end. This Franciscan's uh, fasting is part of our tradition, fasting for justice. St. Francis of Assisi fasted on a regular basis for justice. That's what we're doing. I'm actually married to an undocumented immigrant, and um, it's stressful every day thinking that he could possibly be deported. Um, it cause a lot of stress for our family, and so we're really looking for a solution through comprehensive immigration reform. I'm really impressed by what this group has been doing, and I'm, I'm interested in fasting, so I just signed up. I'm fasting uh, for our immigrant families. Many immigrants, uh, you know, come to America for a better life and better future for their children, and they work very hard. Uh, but uh, in reality, uh, many families are separated uh, because of the immigration backlog. Through fasting, what I'm hoping we can do is touch the, not only the minds, but more importantly, the hearts of our political leaders who are failing uh, to step up and lead on this issue. Thank you so much, Father, for your invitation to be here with you this morning. We are here today, eight of us who are fasting at the National Mall, because like Father, we hunger for an end to a system that brings so much suffering and pain to so many. Last year, 463 people died coming to this country just trying to build a better life for themselves and their families, for their children. This month, two million people will be deported back to their homes, destroying their dreams, their hopes, and leaving behind tens of thousands of children who will ask, where is my dad? Where is my mom? When is she coming home? And the other parent not being able to give an answer. These numbers that I just gave you, behind them are real human beings people with dreams, with hopes, and aspirations for themselves and their children. Yet they find themselves living in the shadows of our society. That's why we are fasting, for them. Because there's no greater pain in our hearts than to listen to Gina, our sister who Father spoke about and see the pain in her eyes, but her family no longer go together. To hear about sons and daughters whose parents pass away, yet then I cannot go and say their last goodbyes because of their immigration status. To hear the stories of workers who work, but many times will not get paid at the end of the day. And if they complain, they're told that they're going to report them to the authorities and be deported. <coughs> this is a system that is sustained on the values of our proud nation of immigrants. And we hunger for the day when that system will end. <coughs> We are fasting, not out of anger or despair, but out of hope. Hope 
that we can touch the hearts of our elected leaders who have the power to end this suffering, to take a vote, a vote to allow all of these people to have an opportunity to legalize their status. And before I end, let me also say how grateful I am to the Franciscans. When I was a farm worker with Cesar Chavez and we went out on strike, we were very poor in material things, even though we were rich in our spirits. But we were very up against some very powerful people. And during our darkest days, the Franciscans came to be with us. They were living out their prophetic mission of speaking out for the poor, the dispossessed, and all of those who have no one else to speak for them. And today, it does my heart good to see the Franciscans once again living out those values, those beliefs, and their faith. I want to thank Father Jason for joining us on this fast. Thanks, Sister Margaret. I want to thank Patrick. Because we know that by you being with us, it strengthens our faith. And tell us once again that if we work, if we sacrifice, that God will help us reach our goals and our dreams and our hopes for a stronger and a better nation. Thank you. It was my total privilege to be one of the people in the Fast for Families that was really initiated and led by Eliseo Medina. He is so inspiring. He is so thoughtful. He's so insightful. His commitment comes through in all he does. And he's such a decent and good human being. He also has changed the world in so many ways and changed us who've known him by raising our hopes and increasing our commitment to this struggle for justice and dignity for all people. We love you, Eliseo. We celebrate you and are so glad to be part of the movement that you've helped to create. Hi, my name is Rudy Lopez and I'm one of the core fasters and I just wanted to take a minute to congratulate Eliseo Medina. Eliseo, you are so deserving of this award and you really embody the spirit of the fast. And it was such a privilege to be able to spend that time with you and to be able to take the message of having to do something for our brothers and sisters around this broken immigration system. So congratulations to you, Eddie Sale. And also congratulations to Franciscan Action Network on their inaugural event and doing some incredible work uh, for the past several years. You are a powerful organization that really embodies the spirit of St. Francis and uh, the work that you do is so invaluable. So thank you to my brothers and sisters out there who are doing the work of St. Francis every day. It's so important now more than ever. And one person is going to be lucky enough to have this fancy uh, Fast for Family sweatshirt that is now game worn here. Uh, and we have DJ signature bites on the back and we're gonna get uh, somebody, uh, the other uh, signatures on here and get it out to somebody. So uh, congratulations to that person, whoever wins it. Uh, have a wonderful evening, God bless you and keep doing that wonderful work. God bless.